Okay, throwback. Kito Ye Ajasa, sir. Kito Ye Ajasa was a notable first generation UK trained Nigerian lawyer of the late 19th century and colonial government selected legislator who made significant contributions during the colonial period as the publisher of the Pioneer, one of the earliest newspapers in Nigeria. Known for his ultra conservative and pro colonial government views and advocacy for the adoption of European ideas and institutions for progress. Ajasa played a prominent role in the formation of the People's Union, the first organized political movement, not political party, organized political movement in Nigeria, and became the first Nigerian to be knighted. His career and influence left a lasting impact on Nigerian politics and society. Ajasa's conservative stance set him apart in a time of shifting ideologies and political tumult. His close collaboration with the colonial authorities ending both admiration and criticism, while some lauded his efforts to work within the system for positive change. Others criticized him for being too closely aligned with the colonial powers. Despite this, Ajasa remained steadfast in his belief that embracing European ideas and structures was crucial for Nigeria's advancement. One of Ajasa's notable contributions was his founding of the Nigerian Pioneer, a conservative newspaper that provided a platform for his perspectives and ideas. Through this publication, he furthered his advocacy for embracing Western concepts and traditions, sparking debates and discussions amongst his contemporaries. His unwavering commitment to these principles, despite facing opposition, solidified his reputation as a, as a staunch advocate for change through collaboration with the colonial powers. Within the People's Union, Ajasa's influence was felt deeply. His leadership and conservative views shaped the direction of the Union and contributed to its role in the broader political landscape of the time. He was a vocal prophet, he was a vocal proponent of engagement with the colonial authorities and sought to leverage this relationship to drive change and progress in Nigeria. This approach placed him at the center of many pivotal discussions and decisions that would ultimately shape the country's future. Despite his advocacy for embracing colonial institutions, Ajasa was not without dictators. Many of his contemporaries criticized his conservative leanings, viewing his alignment with the colonial powers as contradictory to the growing nationalist movement. This criticism, however, did lead to sway Ajasa from his convictions and he continued to champion his vision for Nigeria's future. Ajasa's legacy extends beyond his political activities. His work and influence in the legacy have also left a lasting mark. As a lawyer, he navigated a complex landscape of colonial laws and regulations using his expertise to advocate his beliefs and principles. This dual role as both a politician and a legal expert positioned him as a pivotal figure in shaping the legal and political arenas of his time. Ultimately, Sir Kito Yajasa's impact on Nigerian history cannot be overstated. His unwavering belief in the need to adopt European ideas and structures, his role in shaping the People's Union, and his pioneering efforts in journalism all contributed to a complex and multifaceted legacy. While Ajasa's conservative stance may have drawn criticism, his influence and contributions to Nigerian society during the colonial period make him a figure worth studying and understanding in historical context. With the richness of insight and the mess which the so-called nationalist turned first and second republic politicals, indeed contemporary politicians have made of governance, can we say that Sir Kito Yajasa's anti-nationalism stance has been proven right. I am Bola Oba.